Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now today we're going to be checking out a brand new budget smartwatch from Xiaomi. This is called the Redmi Watch 2 Lite. Now I know some of you guys might have already seen this watch on YouTube as uh, this actually has been released I think about a few weeks ago. But I just got my hands on this brand new smartwatch, a budget smartwatch by the way. And I think it does come with a fair bit of features that you might actually be interested in. So in today's video, we'll actually be checking out how good budget smartwatches are getting. Um, this guy right here is retailing in Malaysia for RM249. Um, during flash sales, I have noticed that the price has actually went down to RM199. So it's actually a very, very affordable price point for anyone who's looking to step into the smartwatch world if you haven't already got your own smartwatch. So in today's video, we check out all the features that we can find on this brand new Redmi Watch 2 Lite. And let's see whether this is something that you might actually want to consider. Now, before we begin all that, of course, if you do support the channel, don't forget to drop a like, sub to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And yes, let's begin with the video right away. Now, upon unboxing this uh, smartwatch right here, I did notice that mine was in this really nice blue color and I absolutely love the color. It comes with a couple of uh, different colors of course you have your black you have the white which looks somewhat beige and of course you have this beautiful blue looking watch right here now for this particular Redmi Watch 2 Lite, uh, Redmi has actually put in a ton of new features into this watch and I think it is absolutely one of the best uh, budget smartwatches that anyone can actually purchase today. Now let's start off with the first point right here and let's talk a little bit about the design and the build quality. Now first up, you might notice this design actually looks to a very similar to a previous Xiaomi smartwatch. I actually have it right here. This was the previous Gen 1 and this is actually the Gen 2 if you want to call it that way but it has a different name. So the previous version looks exactly the same as the current version but but we do have a larger display which I will talk a little bit more about later. In terms of the build quality, everything here is actually feeling very solidly built. Uh, the straps are also very nice silicone that doesn't really feel uh, uncomfortable on my wrist at all. It is quite a thin strap right here, uh, bear in mind about that. And if you are wondering if you can swap out the straps, yes, you can still do that with the tiny latches at the back. It is not the typical conventional kind of straps but it is uh, a very custom kind of a strap right here. But I did notice that there were a couple of sellers on Shopee and Lazada that actually sold straps for this particular watch right here and they are actually fairly cheap, just about 10 ringgit or maybe like 2 US dollars if you're from other regions of the world. So that's just in terms of the design. Uh, we do have a smaller button on the right hand corner right here. I did prefer the larger aluminum feel button. Right now it's not really aluminum, it's just like a plastic button on the side but that's still great. Uh, apart from that, yes, uh, we do have this square face at the front. The bezels at the bottom is still slightly larger than the one on the top. It's not that symmetrical but I still have to applaud Redmi here for actually giving us a larger display on the Redmi Watch 2 Lite. Now, since we're talking a lot about the display, let's check out what kind of display do we actually have on this guy right here. Now first up, we do have a 1.55 inch LCD display. Now that is slightly larger than the 1.4 inch display that we have on the previous gen. So it's actually quite large if you ask me for this kind of price point. The good news here is that the brightness levels actually goes very high and that means that whenever you are outdoors, you will not struggle with visibility on the smartwatch itself. Now another thing that I did found slightly missing here is actually auto brightness. You do not have auto brightness on this Redmi Watch 2 Lite. You have to set the default brightness to your personal preference and if you do happen to go into like dark places, you might have to reduce the brightness yourself on this display. But regardless, I still applaud Redmi for giving us that larger 1.55 inch LCD display. Now let's move on to the second point here and talk a little bit about the health trackers because whenever you wear a smartwatch like this, you expect the watch to be able to track a couple of stuff relating to your health. So in this sense, we of course we have the all day heart rate tracking, we also have SpO2 tracking which uh, Redmi Watch 2 Lite here is able to do that continuously during your sleeps. Now the reason for this is because to get an accurate SpO2 reading, uh, you must not actually move your hand around that much. So some smartwatches uh, like the one I'm wearing right now, it actually does all day SpO2 readings but most of the times it's not too accurate because I'm always moving my hand around. So I think it is a very, very good point from Redmi here to actually only track your SpO2s whenever you're asleep at night because you have minimal movements at that point of time. Now, apart from that, it also tracks your stress levels. It also tracks your sleeps at night, obviously, and of course, your naps in between the day. So those are the kind of things that you can track uh, in terms of the health uh, functions on this Redmi Watch 2 Lite itself. Now, the third thing we're going to talk about here, and that is also in terms of the fitness factor. Some of you guys, you guys wear a smartwatch because you want to track your runs, your swims, your cycling and all that. Well, the good news here is that this Redmi Watch 2 Lite, even though it is a little watch right here, it is actually able to track up to 90 or 100 plus different activities. And you can store them directly on the watch itself. The watch 
Watch by default is able to carry just a number of activities, but you can choose to add or remove uh, spot modes from the watch itself. So it's very customizable. I love that about the Redmi Watch 2 Lite. Now moving on to the fourth point here, which is actually very important, and that is that this Redmi Watch 2 Lite here does come with built-in GPS. Now what this means is that you can obviously take your watch without your smartphone to go for runs, and you'll be able to track your distance. But I must admit that I haven't really had the chance to go out running. As you can see, it's always raining here in Malaysia, so I wasn't able to test the GPS whether it's really good or not. But uh, rest assured, you still have GPS on board, so that's still better than not having GPS at all. Now moving on to the next point here, I want to talk a little bit about notifications. Naturally, this watch here is able to handle most of your notifications regardless of you are using Android or if you are using iOS. Uh, this watch here pairs with the Xiaomi Wear app, which honestly speaking, in my opinion, is not the best app right there, but I think uh, they are still upgrading it momentarily. Now, let's move on to the final point right here and let's talk a little bit about the watch phases. So, we do have a large collection of watch phases on the Redmi Watch 2 Lite. I was able to store up to 10 different watch phases on the watch itself. Compared to previous, I think it was only like 3 or 4. I can't really recall that. But what you need to know is that this watch stores up to 10 different watch phases on top of the 3 uh, original ones that's already in the watch itself. So you have a total of 13 or 14 different watch phases directly on the Redmi Watch 2 Lite. That's really good because there's actually quite a fair bit of nice wallpapers designed for the Redmi Watch 2 Lite. Now before we go, of course, I have not forgotten about battery life. The Redmi Watch 2 Lite here is able to do up to 10 days of battery life, but based on realistic look, I think you will be able to handle about a week uh, just on one single charge right here, which I think is also still pretty good. Again, if you are brand new to the smartwatch game or if you are just looking for a budget smartwatch to purchase, I think you might want to consider this Redmi Watch 2 Lite. I'm quite confident with the data that is being released by Xiaomi. Their tracking data has all been quite consistent. I've used to have the Xiaomi Mi Band 5 and all that and has been pretty good in terms of the data collection. So I think it's going to be a pretty good uh, device to actually get yourself. Of course, if you are also looking for a gift to buy for Christmas and you don't know what to buy, you can also check the links down below uh, to get one of these smartwatches for that lucky person. All right, guys, that's it for today's uh, quick look at the Redmi Watch 2 Lite. Of course, if you still have more questions or if there are things that you want me to test out, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. I really, really thank you all for watching this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, everybody. Bye.